And uh, a couple of years ago, we, we extended the runway, which allows for larger planes to be able to fly here, and uh, the executive, uh, mostly for executive travel. Um, we've impl implemented a safety management system. In fact, we're one of the first airports in Canada to have, to have it approved, so that's a kudos to us. Um, we've really been focusing on our FBO in the last little while, and we've, uh, we've, put, we've hired a new airport manager, um, and, and we've been doing a lot of marketing to try to put this airport on the map. Uh, there are fixed base operation, like I said, we've been doing a lot more work here. We, we've entered a, a fuel agreement with AirBP, which puts Alpha out there so that everybody, anyone who does deal with AirBP actually likes to look for airports that, that offer that service and it's been very successful to us. There's been a lot more industrial uh, development here and with the, the new extension to 2099, I have to say there's been a lot more interest in the airport. We've had a number of people come forward to be interested in, in developing out here at the airport. Uh, we just have a few new hangar developments. Alpha Aviation is actually con con constructing a 30,000 square foot hangar. Uh, TGL Holdings is doing another uh, 22,000. And the Phase 2 hangars is also doing 20,000 square feet. These are, all, these are all in the works. They're all been approved and we're just moving forward on these. Uh, again, as, as we mentioned, BC Fresh with the industrial development. Uh, we, it's been a very successful uh, opportunity for us and I think BC Fresh now that they're all settled in. And we're continuing to, like I said, uh, um, promote the industrial development with the, with the new extension and we are off, uh, looking at offers right now. Uh, again, with the Delta Partnership, the new lease terms, the new land use plan, the Delta Servicing Plan, and especially the 88th Street overpass, which is going to be formally announced this Friday. Uh, there's improved access, and uh, it's really putting the airport on the map. Uh, again, Delta Community benefits 500 high-value jobs, 90 million in economic benefit, 1 million in tax revenue, uh, industrial land, which again that will increase the tax revenue for, for Boundary Bay. And there's many business opportunities and uh, it's involving transportation hub with, with executive travel and hopefully some, some uh, scheduled service here eventually. We're, we're working on that. Our go forward plan is to continue to be a YBR reliever. Uh, we want to increase our premium, our, our uh, Premier Air Training Center and we're looking at, at many things to, to complement what we already have and we would like to become Western Canada's industrial airport of choice. And thank you, uh, as I said we're open for business, industrial land is available and the long term leases to 2099 are currently available and our FBO and airport services are top notch and I think we're being recognized for that.